This tutorial will show you how to use the PDF Reader extension to fill out or write on worksheets that your teacher has posted to Classroom. You do need to get the extension and set it up first. If you haven't already watched that video tutorial, please go do that now. So here's our assignment from the teacher, our worksheets on the right under your work. I'm going to open it up. If this is your first time using the PDF Reader extension, it will ask you which Google account and for access to that account. So just choose your account and then click on Allow. You'll notice that once you're done with that, it will create a new tab. It's not the normal classroom tab. Instead, it has the PDF Reader icon up top and it has this toolbar in the left side of the page. So these tools on the end are our annotation tools, those that allow us to write on the worksheet. So we're gonna start with the typewriter tool. It's the big uppercase T. Notice it shows you with the purple underline which tool you're in. So I'm going to click where I want my text to go. It makes a text box for me. I'm going to type my name in the name blank. These, this formatting bar hovers up above my text box. I can use it to shrink the text. I could change the color if I wanted to. I could use the crosshairs to move it. When I like it, I click on the check mark. Now for this worksheet, I need to read the passage answer some multiple choice questions, and also do some underlining in the passage. So let's talk about how to answer the multiple choice questions first. First thing I'm going to do is turn off my text tool because I'm not going to be typing anymore. Instead, I want to circle the correct answer. I could do that a couple of ways. The first way is the freehand drawing tool, which looks like a pen. When I click on that, it gives me some options underneath. I'm gonna change the color to red so it'll be easier for me and my teacher to see my answer. And then I just hold down on my mouse button or trackpad and draw, pretty easy. Now, if I didn't like what I had drawn, if I change my answer, I can click on the eraser and then just click on my freehand drawing to get rid of it. I've got to turn my eraser off though before I can uh, draw again. So that's the freehand drawing tool. I could also use the shapes tool, which would be a little neater, neater, but it is a little more complicated. So I'm gonna turn off my freehand drawing tool and turn on my shapes drawing tool. And again, I can change colors here, thickness. I'm going to use the circle tool to circle the correct answer on number two. So I just hold down and drag. This one is a little hard to get in the right spot. And I can't just drag it around to move it. That just draws another circle. So I'm gonna go erase my second circle. And I am going to turn off my shapes drawing tool and just click on the circle that I had drawn first. And that gives me the moving tool. So once you've drawn the circle, you've got to go back, turn off the shapes tool, click on the circle, and then use that crosshairs to move where the circle is. So that one is a little bit more complicated. We're also going to use our shapes tool to underline for question number three. It says underline the clues that helped you determine the answers to one and two. So uh, I'm going to go back to my shapes drawing tool and click on the line tool and I'll leave it red. 10 is a, is a pretty good size, small enough that it will fit, um, but big enough for the teacher to see. And I'm going to say that um, what helped me know what was left and difficult. Um, I'm just going to say attempted and challenging. And just like with my other uh, shape that I drew earlier, the circle tool, if I needed to, I could erase, but if I want to move, I would need to, to turn off the tool and click on the on the line to get the ability to move. So that's it. One last thing I wanna show you is how to hand in. So this assignment is asking me to work 
over the course of five days. So when I was all done, end of the week, I had completed the entire assignment. I would go up here to the top right corner. There's my hand and button. And it brings me back to classroom now. Notice I'm back in the classroom tab and I can just turn in the regular way. 